Guess he's back, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hi, Paris. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry for missing Monday and Tuesday. Monday, I was tired from driving. Tuesday, my computer problems came back, but luckily I fixed it really fast. So I was back up and running. Uh, and so we're finally going to watch The Pokemon Presents. We might play Bat Boy afterwards. Um, I uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's not going to be a super long stream tonight. I hope you were well, Paris. I hope you've been well. I missed you. Um. So yeah. So we're gonna do that. I heard there's not much to see, but I still want to watch it. You guys know me. I gotta watch all the things. So we'll do that, and then uh, we'll uh. We watch a couple other things because there's like new Mortal Kombat trailers and stuff, and then yeah, and then maybe that's what we'll do. We'll we'll have a short stream. Um, there's someone I want to raid tonight if they're live, but I don't know if they're gonna be live tonight, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but anyways, um, I am ready to learn some stuff about Pokemon. So, let's, uh, without further ado, let me just switch to the stream screen. Uh, I have, uh, captions on. I don't know if I'll keep them on, we'll see. But, uh, let's, uh, just hop right into it. Let's go. Wow. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's presentation, we'll be sharing information about several Pokemon projects, including the mm. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Ah, DLC. First of all, the weekend of the 2023 Pokemon World Championships is nearly upon us at last. And we hope you'll enjoy this video. Is it the same ad that I've seen everywhere? Hello, Pokemon oh, no. trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International. Chris Brown? We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon World Championships to Yokohama, Japan for the first time ever. In just a few days, over a thousand trainers from all around the globe will make the journey to compete for the title of World Champion across the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video games, the Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Unite. These new World Champions will walk home with the exclusive Champions line of product for this year. To honor the season-long accomplishment of making it to the World Championships, every competitor will also receive a special welcome kit. Oh, cool. Since 2013, the featured I would love one of those bags. has been Champions Festival, which showcases unique artwork themed after each year's location. Now, for the first time, we will debut a new promo card, Paradise Resort. Mm -hmm. Competitors will also get the coveted World Pikachu plush, based on this year's celebratory Yokohama artwork. Oh, awesome. That's a lot of stuff for just competing. I, along with not gonna lie, I kinda want that promo card. Be I've been thinking about getting back into Pokemon, Pokemon cards. World store ever. I've been considering it. August 11th to 13th, as top trainers compete together in Yokohama, we invite the rest of our global community to celebrate Pokemon together at home and tune into our live broadcast for the event. Now, let me hand it off to our Japan project lead, Rikia. To share the exciting hey, world night, celebration man. events happening. Can you guys hear this okay, by the way? Or is it too quiet? Because it's kind of quiet for me. Thanks, Chris. I turned it up a bit. Rikia Watanabe here from the Pokemon Company. To celebrate the Pokemon I'm World doing good Championship night, man. I hope you're doing 2023, well. we've begun a number of events here in Yokohama Minatomirai. Okay. We're collaborating with various facilities in Yokohama so that visitors can experience the atmosphere and Pokemon of each region in the Pokemon world. And you'll find plenty of photo ops set up for you, along with great ah. artwork from Sakura Gicho Station and Minatomerai Station to celebrate nice. the World Championships. I'm looking forward to it, Nightman. Additionally, we'll have a specially video, equipped I mean. luxury cruise ship docked at the quay for you to enjoy during the competition period. From August 11th to 13th, go higher, but it's fine stop now. Okay, on by good. the Pokemon Trainer Cruise. 
Oh, there's a cruise? Well, that's kind of neat. There are many spaces on board where Pokemon trainers from around the world can gather and mingle to enjoy some casual trading and battling with their Nintendo Switch consoles and Pokemon TCG decks in hand. And there are many more events being held, Me either, including man, Pikachu either. parades. This, th that, that's like, that's, that cruise is literally like the we uh, SSN. We hope you enjoy a fantastic summer together with Pokemon in Yokohama Where you could just, Minotaur where people just find these sailors who are bored. For more details, please visit neat. the special events. And they'll website. battle you. Finally, I think Chris and I would both like to say... Otanoshimi! We actually have one more video related to the 2023 Pokemon World Championships to share with you. Oh, okay. What you got? Hi, I'm Andy Ghost from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon World together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacifico Yokohama on August 11th, alongside Ooh. the Pokemon World Championships. Okay. Pokemon Path to the Peak. Wait, that's is a tomorrow. Game that brings the Pokemon trading card game to life as you've never Are they seen. Are revealing before. it online? Set in the compelling world of competitive Pokemon trading card game play, it's the story of our hero Ava who discovers her natural talent alongside her partner Pokemon Oddish. With the support oh, of cute. family, community, and newfound friends, she sets her goal to rise to the very top. Here's a sneak peek. I know it's tough moving to a new place. But think of it as a new start. You'll try new things, make new friends, and eventually you'll find your place. Challenge accepted! Welcome to the Pokemon Club! You all play together? That's awesome! I know, right? So the new girl can play. But how would you do in a real competition with championship points on the line? Path to the peak. That's cool. Look out for Pokemon Path to the Peak. Essentially, yeah. Episode one will also be available globally on YouTube August 11th. We can't wait for you and all your friends and family to join us on the journey. I summoned Agumon in attack mode. Wait. The first ever Pokemon World Championships to be hosted in Japan is nearly upon us. We hope everyone and is I, looking forward no, to it as much I as we are. And I played two. Next up, two fire mana on, on him. the return of that tough talking Pikachu. Two fire, two mountains. I tapped two mountains on him. I tried. The name's I tried. Pikachu. Oh, this game. And I'm, I'm what you in. might call a great detective. I live and work here in Rhyme like City, coffee. where humans and Pokemon live side by side. Everyone loves it here, and not just because the coffee's outstanding. <laughs> when I'm not busy solving cases that crop up, I'm looking for leads on my missing partner, Harry. And it's no walk in the park, let me tell you. Mm hmm? You want to know more about me? All right, all right. I guess I can open up a little. Oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Welcome to the chat, by the way. First, Dark Tank. here's Tim. He's my partner at the moment. We've got for some here. reason, I mean, Tim for the can movie understand they what I'm saying. Even but I think human. Ryan... Uh, Ryan and this good. guy right yeah. here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Then we got Tim's mom, Irene. And his little sister, Sophia. There's also Rachel, who goes to college with Tim. Oh, hello, Rachel. Well, speaking of hello. Rachel, her dad, Howard, he's actually the mayor of Rhyme City. And I barely scratched the surface of all the interesting Dad? characters around here. <laughs> now, let me give you the gist of what me and Tim do. Whenever an incident occurs, Tim talks to the people, I talk to the Pokemon, and we work together using our case notebook to deduce what happened. I, I never got to play the first game, but total pros this one looks really good. Everything. But even pros gotta take it easy every so often. You can count on us to solve even the toughest cases in a flash. Might get this. Oh, right. Sometimes other Pokemon help us with our investigations. Let, let me know, guys. Would you want to see me stream this? She can track down suspects I, I might pick it up notes. and stream it. And Darmanitan here packs a pulverizing punch. All kinds of Pokemon lend us a hand. Oh, how can I forget the Hi Hat Cafe? It's a famous coffee house in Rhyme City. I had and cafe. I'm their best yes. customer. Oh, that first cup in the morning really hits the spot. Hmm? 
Looks like trouble's brewing. We just can't That's catch okay. a break. Seems like another big mystery is unfolding in the city. We just want to find Harry already. If you want to know what happens, you gotta wait till October 6th, okay? October 6th, wow. Why that day? That's not that far away. Isn't it obvious? That's the release date for Detective Pikachu Returns. Let's solve some mysteries together. Hell yeah. October 6th, eh? Okay, guys, I hate to do this, but I really need to use the bathroom. So I will be right back. Don't look into my dead eyes. Don't don't you do it. In fact, I'm I'm putting you guys on burb. Be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to Zero Drags. Is that because she's got a pee? <laughs> All right, let's uh, <clears throat> let's continue, shall we? Gruff, tough talking, powered by coffee. The self-described great detective Pikachu works together with his partner Tim to solve cases around town. Detective Pikachu Returns for Nintendo Switch Systems is now available for pre-order on Nintendo eShop and at participating retailers and online stores. I'll wait for reviews, though, before I pick this up. We hope you check it out and uncover for yourself the truth behind the strange cases these two must tackle. Next, we have a number of announcements and updates to share with you. Okay. Pokemon Horizons of the series. Is this the anime? Hmm. 
Nico, a girl with mysterious power. Roy, a boy with a mysterious Pokeball. Oh shit, an airship? Oh shit. Hikaro Kujo. You think he has a, his stand is uh Thundershock Platinum? This year, Pokemon Go is once again holding multiple Pokemon Go Fest events. The oh, Pokemon Go. I there's still some friends who play this. Osaka and coming next weekend, <laughs> New York City. But I I just On don't August anymore. August 26 and 27, we will also be holding Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global, a digital event that can be enjoyed from anywhere. In this year's Pokemon Go Fest, Diancie will appear for the first time ever. Diancie can mega evolve into Mega Diancie too. And Mega Rayquaza will also be appearing in raids. This celebration well. of Pokemon Go comes only once a year, so we hope you can all join in. Oh, and one more thing. Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, no. Black and White, okay. Um... Beginning in September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Suit yeah. up for adventure and head out in search of Pokemon <laughs> from every region, from Kanto to Paldea. Pokemon wow. Go Fest, the 2023 Pokemon World Championships, and more Pokemon making their Pokemon Go debut. As we continue through Pokemon Go's seventh year, your adventures will only continue to expand with the entire world as your stage. Pokemon Unite recently celebrated its second anniversary. Allow us to introduce some current events. Okay, First I haven't played a Unite in a hot battle, minute. Panic Parade. <laughs> With the help of your teammates, protect Tinkaton from an onslaught of wild Pokemon. Plus, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo joins the fray. During battle, Mewtwo can Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X can use its moves in quick succession, allowing players to attack relentlessly. Players can obtain unique Why X though? X Why is the one that via an event like? happening now? And starting August 17th, you'll also be able to get Unite License Y Mewtwo, which allows Mewtwo oh, okay. to Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y. As Mega there Mewtwo Y, you'll be able to battle differently than Mega Mewtwo X. Pokemon Unite will continue to evolve even after. I'm gonna be honest. Adversity. I think the moves that make Mewtwo X is better in this game. More Pokemon joining the fray. The 2023 what World I'm seeing. Championship Series prediction event is also underway. All players can participate, so join in the fun and excitement of this year's World Championships. And after this broadcast ends, we'll be gifting powerful Platinum Boost emblems, as well as limited licenses for both Mew and Mewtwo to everyone who enters our special gift code in Pokemon Unite. Plus, we're also holding a second anniversary prize machine event. This is a great chance to get popular Hollowware for Pokemon like Pikachu and Cinderace. Please join us in celebrating Pokemon Unite's second anniversary. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh man, Pokemon battling. It's so much better. So much more fun than I ever even Oh, knew. I like her voice. Let's have us a fruitful battle. I wish I could hear it more in the fucking game. At last, our first sync pair from the Paldea region. It's Nimona and Palmot. Nimona will make her debut in a new story event coming soon. We hope you'll enjoy seeing her interact with trainers from other regions. Nimona wow, and she gets a voice in the mobile game, the but not role. in the official game. Sync pairs with the sprint role excel at attacking quickly. Like, By introducing new roles like this one, 
battles Hold on. Pokemon Masters EX will I'm gonna pause this. Let's think about this for a second. They give her a voice. They give her voice lines for a mobile game. But the main game? No, no. It's all it's all text. And like I know the outside perspective criticisms of Scarlet and Violet is it still doesn't have voice acting, which I agree. We're at the ninth generation of Pokemon and we still don't have voice acting. Like, come on. Like, you guys can afford to pay, pay some voice actors and give us a better experience. Uh, if it, if the game had voice acting, I might be able to excuse more of the glitches and shit. Because I don't know if you guys could tell, but to be to to be perfectly honest, I was on autopilot finishing Scarlet. I just was like, you know, the highest earning video game series in exactly. Like I was on autopilot for the rest of Scarlet. I'm gonna check out the DLC probably at some point, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care. I'd re what I think I might do instead is instead of getting the DLC for this, I'll pl I'll stream a game. That's inspired by Pokemon that I want to support more. Uh, like, there's one that I just got not too long ago. Um, it's base. It's uh, it's basically like inspired by DS era Pokemon games, and it's really fun. I'm sure we're doing a Sapphire remake. It's funny because like those remakes, I think fixed those games. Um, I like Sword and Shield. I just never completed the DLC for it. Uh, I just wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't really care. Um, and so, I just, I don't know. I just, I'm, uh, I'm at the point now where I'm like, if a new Pokemon game comes out, like, the black and white remake I'll probably get. Yeah, you're going to just drop it. Yeah, well, it's, Pokemon's getting back into its stale cat section. Like, kind of where it did with, like, Diamond and Pearl, in my opinion, back in the day. Um, though I know a lot of people grew up with Diamond and Pearl as their first Pokemon game, and they say those are the best ones, even though I disagree. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's starting to get stale again. And if the main games don't do something to spice it up, I, I don't know. I, I'm not buying, I'm, I, I said to myself that I'm... Not gonna buy, um, well, there's a good way to get around that. Um, like, I don't know, I, I just, um, I, I, uh, I decided to take uh, Nakey Jakey's advice and stop pre-ordering games. I want to see what a game is like before it comes out. Unless it's like... You didn't miss much. Basically, I was just saying, I think I'm going to like I, I'm gonna stop pre-ordering games because pre-ordering games tells the industry, um, your game has already sold me even before I've played it. Uh, instead, I want to wait and see what the games, how the games turn out. Because like... Scarlet and Violet just burned me so bad that, like, I was just like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, they, you know, I don't think, I don't think Scarlet and Violet are bad games. I just think they're average in total. But the fact that they have glitches and it wasn't what I was expecting, like, it, honestly, I was disappointed. I was hoping for, a huge innovation over Pokemon and I didn't get it. Like we didn't get it. Like they pushed the multiplayer stuff so hard about how great it, I thought, you know, it was going to be, you could play the story with your friends, drop in multiplayer where they could get into battles with you. I thought the gyms were going to be, you know, based on your level. So it didn't matter which gym you went to, you'd stand a chance. Um, I thought the open world was literally going to be an open world. And none of those things were true. The open world exists, but it was an illusion. It's... Yeah, it feels like it's saying... It's... it's 
it's funny because despite like despite people asking for refunds and Nintendo actually giving people refunds for it, it's just the open world was basically smoke and mirrors. It was an open world, but only you could only go where the game says you can go. Um, you could only fight the gym leaders that you. Okay, you could fight any gym leader you wanted, but if you went and fought one that would be considered the seventh badge as your second badge, you'd be stupid. You'd be destroyed unless you just grinded forever. Um, the multiplayer was stupidly lacking. Like the only thing that you, that you can you and your friends can do together is the raid battles, and it's like that was where the way it was in the last game. Like. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I didn't really care for open worlds, but Pokemon, I decided to give it a chance, and I was utterly disappointed with how it went. Like, I thought, the way they were advertising the game made it seem like, you know, you could play this game with your friends, and I wanted to play it with the Sky and Karama, my partners, I wanted to play it with them, and really, you don't. Y you do, but you don't. Uh, you can go online together in a group, but you can't interact with each other unless it's a raid battle. It's, it kind of, I don't know. It was it was disappointing. Scarlet and Violet were disappointing. Um, but like little things like the glitches that could have fixed, adding voice acting to the games would have made it, you know, a little bit sweeter. I just again, I just think it's funny that this mobile game, the Scarlet and Violet characters are getting voice acting, but the main game they couldn't give two shits to give them voice acting. We're nine generations in. Voice acting is like a standard of video games. Even if you didn't want to make every single line voice acted, even if you were just like, oh, we want to make the cutscenes have voice acting, like the like the ones that you can't, like the, the scripted ones that you can't skip, okay. That would have been okay. But it's like, they did nothing. Pokemon Silver is still my favorite of all time. <laughs> with Pokemon Black and White right behind it, but um, I just I know there were, the previous games didn't have voice acting, but it's like, come on, guys, we're, we're the industry is not the same as it was in 1998. You can't keep doing it the way it is. Why not just run with main character gym leaders? That would be fun. I don't know. It's just it's just, it was just really disappointing. And Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus was disappointing, too. Like, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the story. But I hated the Pokedex requirements. I hated that the, I, would, I got a new world to explore. And it's like, oh, but you can't do anything in the story until you catch, like, ten Pidgeys. And they all have to be different kinds. Like, one has to be bigger than the other. And it was just stupid. It was so stupid how they did that. Don't force the Pokedex on me. That's the only problem with that game. I that's why I didn't finish it. I didn't finish Legends Arceus because I got like I got tired of being told time and time again, better get the points for your Pokédex up or you don't get to progress in the story. It was stupid. A lot of people say, "Oh, that wasn't a big deal. I caught lots of Pokémon," but it's like I don't typically sit there and catch Pokémon for hours on end. I play the games for the story. It's so stupid. And the gameplay, I guess, of course. Anyways, let's get back to this. Fun evolving. The Poke Fair featuring Nimona and Palmot will go live right after this broadcast. Be sure to check them out when you're done tuning in. And beginning August 9th, another special event will be held to celebrate Nimona's debut. Battle against Nimona as she I'm gets glad that she's in the day game. Day that she's in a... Uh... Plus, Pokemon, starting August 16th, whatever this Victor is, Victor and Spectrier will appear. They're a sync pair with a new field role, which excels at field effects. Pokemon Masters or whatever. Who this event I played it for a little bit. It just wasn't my thing. And to celebrate this Pokemon present, you can claim a gift of 3,000 gems after this presentation ends. There are plenty more events in the works Pokemon as Masters we ramp up the for the yeah. fourth anniversary of Pokemon Masters. It's going for Master four years, event. damn. So stay tuned. This cafe. Is it? Pokemon Cafe Remix. Aha! Knew it! Mm, what's this? The newest <coughs> dish at the cafe is sushi? 
No, wait, it's the Mimicry Pokemon Tatsugiri, now visiting the cafe in Pokemon Cafe Remix. Serve up some delightful I fucking know it was cafe. Apparently, people say this game is fun. I haven't played a Pokemon puzzle game since, uh, the, what was the one on 3DS? The free one on 3DS. I can't remember the game. Pokemon something. Pokemon Shuffle, I think? I can't remember. It was really good. Dungeon of the Endless Plus, I don't really play anything else Pokemon Pokemon present, I don't really play any phone games anymore. Special summer fun Jigglypuff. After Castlevania got shut down, I kind of haven't played any. It's funny because I don't play uh, um, Mega Man X Dive, but Plus, you'd think I would. And are also uh. being featured again in deliveries. I just don't got time for mobile games. With a bonus 11 times to remake your losers. Available that probably won't happen. Play Pokemon I heard the Remix Pokemon Mystery Nintendo Dungeon Switch remake didn't sell very good, so. And discover what new Pokemon and outfits may Who show knows? Up in Who your knows, next. though? I bought it, I just haven't played it more than a little bit. Yes! Experience this is finally coming to Switch Online. Pokemon TCG in video game form okay, I might Pokemon stream this game. game. I love this game. Game Boy Color, when it comes to Game Boy, Nintendo Switch ba -ba 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 I did a let's play this a long time ago, but my emulator like sucked. Strong opponents and try to so I'd rather play this on the actual thing. And we have even more good news. Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Stadium, Stadium 2! Also be appearing on Nintendo 64 Hell yeah. Nintendo Switch Online. Pokemon. Oh, it's Mr. Travius! Gym leaders and Elite Four from Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver. Several mini games will also be available. You can play mini games are the fun part of these. Pichu's Power Plant, Furret's Frolic, and more with up to three of your friends. And you can play them all online too, which is sick. The two titles you see here will be available shortly after this presentation. Sweet. Pokemon Trading Card Game, I may have to play. I may have to stream. Pokemon Sleep, a boop, game that makes boop, waking up something boop, to look boop, forward to, boop, was released last boop, night. Boop, boop. When you I want to try this because my Fitbit hasn't been detecting my sleep Pokemon properly. Sleep. I think it needs a firmware update, but you I want to try Pokemon this and see how accurate sleep it is. So try to rest your very best and study the many sleep styles waiting to be discovered. We're Please also give Nintendo your personal a good data. In-game event for the night of yeah. the full moon. In case I mean, I already give it to, to Apple, Google, for every company With ever. With the hope you can get enough sleep. Even on such uh, nights, yeah, I guess so. We're powering up drowsy power on I guess good so, sleep Juck. days, so you can meet also, hi, even Shadow more Prince. Pokemon. Also, I don't know if I said hi to you, Juck. Hi. I might have to try, try to get your hey, very best Lance. rest. Gonna learn with Pokemon. Okay, enjoy sleep. your exclamation point lurk. And next. We turn to the latest updates about the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the newest games in the core Pokemon series. All right, let's talk about this DLC that I'm not going to play, probably. Please have a look at this oh, video. damn it. Yep, just wait there. God, even the trailer it runs like shit. The frame rate's not even good in the trailer. Like, hold on. Let me go back for a second. We'll let his stare. I'm not slowing down. That's not the thing slowing down. It's jittering. They can't even get it to work properly in a trailer. And they want you to buy their DLC. Let's go 10 FPS. I just, I... Unless this is substantial content, and it makes me want to actually play Scarlet again, I am not buying this. I didn't play the last DLC. I played a little bit of it. That girl's cute, though. Oh, hello. Bro, that trailer frame is so good. Exactly! Pokemon Play to win. release whoa, an whoa, 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 online whoa, original whoa, whoa, animated. What? Wait, what was that? Okay, original animated web series. Pokemon Play to wins. So watch on September. Okay. 
So it's not even part of the DLC. They were just showing part of the game for this animated thing they want to do. And they still grabbed the worst thing they could have captured, the lowest frame rate thing they could have captured. I just don't understand <laughs> how the fuck you fucked that up. Like, it, okay, it's like, it's not a long shot of a zoom out, but how do you screw that up? Was it like last minute and the, the animators were like, uh, we need a piece, uh, we need that shot that you guys said you were going to give us from the game. And the game devs were just so overworked with other stuff. They're like, oh, okay, here's a fucking, I'll throw it in fucking pr preview mode and we'll record like a little 10 second thing and send it to you. There you go. Was the was the clip rushed just like the game was? Couldn't even fast forward it to hide the frames. Like Okay, hold on. Let me let me just see here. Let me go back to where it is. Core Pokemon series released in November gonna, last year. Please I'm have gonna a look at this do video. this. Let's put it at times two and see how it looks. See that doesn't look bad. Okay, now, let's put it at, released in November last year. Please have a look at this. Let's video. put it at half speed and see those jitters. Holy fuck. When you look at something slow like this, you can see where the frames are struggling. The anti-aliasing isn't good, like... Like, it's like, it's just bad. It's one sh I, uh, Guys, I know I'm going on about one shot in a trailer. I know it seems ridiculous, but it's just so bad. Like, of... Like, the, like, the, like... They can't even get the anti-aliasing right. Uh, like, and the thing is, like, they could have pre-rendered this, too. There's no reason they had to do it this way. The textures don't look good. It's just... Oh, my God. It's just... It's just a zoom-out of a model. They could have done so much better with it. But... Oh, my God. I feel stupid because I'm, like, arguing about something that literally may, makes has nothing to do with the rest of this trailer. But it's just... It just shows the laziness of like how they're not like like how they could have easily fixed it's just oh my god it just makes me so upset it just makes me it reminds me of how bad the game is in terms of like performance like i heard the the reason the entire game map loads when you go outside into the world is because they didn't have time to learn how to do optimize um, world loading to get the game out on time. Like, loading the whole world map that you're outside in, like, the whole thing, that's like, like, P like N64 PS2 era shit. Okay, see you later, Leon. Show your lurk. I don't know why the lurk command didn't work. Um, it's just all they had like Spider Man. If you look at that, that game loads in chunks. It loads flawlessly. There's lots of games that are like that. Sea Thieves, like Pokemon's map compared to those games is not that big. Yet they still didn't load it. They still didn't try to load it in chunks. I just, I'm blown away with the amount of incompetence in getting this game done. And I understand rush and I understand crunch. It's just, if they didn't have time to delay the game, we can go one holiday season without a new Pokemon game. You released Arceus in like what, January of last year? And didn't it sell relatively well? Hold on. I just want to see. You can see this on uh, by the screen here. Let's see. Pokemon Legend 
RCS is almost 15 million units. It sold 6.5 million copies worldwide within the first week. It, it, it was outselling the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Like, how much did... Uh... Scarlet, Violet. Scarlet and Violet made 22.66 lifetime sales. That can't be the best-selling Pokemon game. Hold on. Pokemon... Sword and Shield sales data. Yeah, Sword and Shield sold more cop more copies than uh, Scarlet and Violet. It sold more. Um, just curious, how much did that go? Fifteen million. So okay. So, jump corner even basic servers like sewing machines. I like RCS still like fifteen million is nothing to sneeze at. Like they still sold a ton of games, and it wasn't in and that wasn't in the prime season. Like the first quarter of the year. Well, it's not technically the first quarter, but the first three months of the year are considered the worst for selling video games. If you're if you're a movie studio or a game studio, if you release your game in January to March, you're basically like uh, like until, like it's basically no man's land. You want to sell your games during summer and and uh winter. That's when you want to sell your games. And by winter I mean like holiday season. Um and so for them to release a Pokemon game months after another Pokemon game at the start of the year in the worst time to sell a game and still outsell the previous game, that's nothing to sneeze at. Like, I've complained about Arceus, but that game runs great. It feels it feels like a great game to play. The only problem with it is the Pokedex. If they just took the Pokedex requirements out of the game, it'd be perfect. Or not perfect, but better. I would actually want to finish it. I did like those games. Just the battle system felt hollow and um, the catching I didn't care for. It makes me hope that they, if they make another Legends game that uh, they learn from what they did with the first game. Exactly. Everyone's burnt out. Nobody wants to spend money. In January, nobody's spending money on new games. Unless you're a hardcore gamer and you just buy everything. But, like, and, um, and they did, a, you know, they did a good job with that game. Again, I don't personally like it that much, but I got enjoyment out of it in certain, uh, a certain amount of enjoyment out of it. I think I played at least 15 hours of it. And it was a good game. And then you have, all right, guys, thanks for finishing that game. It came out in January. We got to get Pokemon Scarlet and Violet out by in like nine months or less than that. It's just. Anyways, I, we should be watching this presentation, but I just can't get over how poor Scarlet and Violet were and they still sold. And that and, and that's the thing that like blows my mind. So I'm not pre ordering. I'm not pre ordering games anymore. And I'm definitely not getting Pokemon games on launch day. I will wait and see. Because I'm not dealing with this again. Anyways. Uh, this anime looks pretty cool. Get back to this. So we're not even... Well, we're more than halfway through. We will release an online original animated series set in the Paldea region. Oh, it's online. Okay, cool. The so name of the series is something? Pokemon Paldean Wins. That looks cool. This I love the world of Ninth Gen. The youthful drama I'll say this much. Academy students as they come into their own, but why can't I wear a skirt? As they attend school. We hope you'll be excited to see Paldea brought to life in this animated series. 
we have another Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video to share with you all. Alright, is this about the DLC or is this about something else? Probably the DLC. Oh hey, they're bringing Mewtwo back again. What do you know? And Mew. Let's beat those dead horses. I don't know, man. Don't ask me. Don't ask me, Night Man. Swift. Barrier. We'll be holding an event called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team and challenge a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. The mythical Pokemon Mew and the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. These are two these like long-time rivals I can't do. are bringing their fierce battles to Paldea. Starting right now, you can add Mew to your team by entering this password in the mystery gift menu in your game. Oh, you literally just get it. Each okay, well that's cool. Type, nature, and moves will differ. I wonder which terror type I would get. Maybe I should do that after the stream. Enjoy adventuring in the Paldea region with a Mew that's all your own. Meanwhile, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo will be appearing in a special Terra Raid battle event. September 1st, September 17th. Okay, Emerge so it's in victorious September. in this battle, and you'll be able to catch a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. If you challenge Mewtwo okay. with Mew at your side, be ready for something special. Okay, I want to read this information at the bottom. A special Mewtwo can be caught only once per save data. As long as the event is running, you can participate in the terror battles against Mewtwo and other rewards, even if you've already caught it. Mewtwo may be featured, and future events become obtainable through other methods. After completing certain post-game events, you'll be able to find black terror raid crystals. However, players who haven't completed these events may still participate in these terror raid battles uh, by joining trainers in multiplayer. To participate in the Terror Raid events, you need to have downloaded the latest Poker Portal news as well as the most recent software for your game. A paid and membership is required to receive. Sorry, is not required to receive the latest Poker Portal news. A paid and membership sold separately is required to participate in Terror Raid battles. Other trade. Okay. Okay. So basically, I think what it says is if you don't have, um, if you don't have a. Uh, if you haven't unlocked the higher tier terror raid battles, which I still haven't, you can still participate in this event and catch Mewtwo. Um, but somebody else, I think, probably has to post it, is probably what it is. So I don't know how that's going to work. Because before you couldn't do it with you couldn't do it with the other ones, so I don't know. Either way, maybe I'll do these. I haven't decided. I'm just how many times can you catch Mew and Mewtwo until it's finally the, the luster of it wears off? Like, I get it. Nostalgia. I should like this because I played the f Pokemon since the first generation. But I'm just like, now you're just pandering to me. I just seem, I'm just really negative about these games. <laughs> about Scarlet and Violet. I'm just really negative about them because I was so disappointed by them. So, I don't know. This entire Scarlet Violet section I'm not going to we'll be a big also fan also hold of. a number of other Terra okay. Raid battle events that'll help okay. you challenge Mewtwo. Train with oh, so your there's Mew one going on right work now. together with your allies to take on Mewtwo. This event is slated to begin on September 1st. Okay. You take part in these events. Maybe I'll do it during the Femboy Zero's debut, which happens around the same time. Mm. Finally, we'd like to share some updates about the DLC coming for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, titled The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Okay, here we go. How much of this is left? About 10 minutes, or over 10 minutes. So this might all be about the DLC. I'm going to get comfy, guys. Ugh.
Hope you guys don't mind if I get comfy. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't matter if you don't mind. I'm doing it anyway, so. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. Part one. The Teal Mask. Give us a skirt, goddammit. There's already too many companies like to take all this stuff away before it actually runs course and then resell it, remastered for nostalgia. I saw a lot more in the games themselves. It's funny. Pokemon will throw the nostalgia at you. But if you want to obtain the Pokemon, the older Pokemon games, literally, like, like legit me, legitimately right now, now that the eShop is down, is down for the 3DS and the Wii U, you can't get them. You can legally not purchase a new copy of any of the previous Pokemon games. They are not available. Unless they're not available on the Switch. Which is Gen 8 and 9 so far. Maybe the remakes of... Maybe the Let's Go remakes. And the remake of Gen 4. If you want to play... Any of the previous Pokemon game entries... You have had to have downloaded the virtual console versions on something... Or own a physical copy. Nintendo will poke at your nostalgia... But they won't give you the games that you want to play. And I, unless they announce at the end of this thing that red, blue, and yellow are coming to Pokemon Nintendo Switch Online, I don't buy it. And I, I just, I have a feeling they're not going to come to it. Yeah, seriously, why are there no skirts? There's still no skirts. It's the one thing I wanted. Like, when the clothing options in Sword and Shield were better. Like, Jesus. Oh no, he's gone Arthur mode. Indigo disc. Oh, right. Part two of the DLC. See, this looks kind of neat. The, the first part doesn't look that great. Or do, doesn't look all that cool. But this looks kind of cool. But you probably gotta play through part one to get to this. So there are no new gems and everything? Interesting. Or just new challenges or whatever. Oh my god, is that is that a fucking tall Raikou? <laughs> Looks like they've added some more Pokemon. There must be more after that to get to the hidden treasure of Harry Zero. Uh. An old folktale passed down in the land of Kitakami. Pokemon trainers waiting to battle you at Blueberry Academy. An Area Zero's hidden treasure. Let's take a closer look at what we just saw. Okay.
The DLC for Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Your adventures will extend beyond the Paldea region as you explore new places. Part 1, The Teal Mask. Supervised by Briar, one of the teachers at Blueberry Academy, you'll take part in this year's joint school trip. At the center of the land of Kitakami, a proud mountain stands tall. People live at the base of the mountain and grow apples in sprawling orchards. Rice paddies stretch across oh, the land, uh, and time passes slowly. Uh, apple orchard like your Minecraft house. In the land of Kitakami, you'll meet a wide variety of Pokemon species that can't be found in Paldea. You'll also meet two siblings exactly. who study at Blueberry Academy. The strong-willed Carmine and her younger brother, the meek and gentle Kirin. In battle, Kirin uses a new evolution of Applin. Meet Diplin, a Pokemon that looks Diplin. a lot like a candy apple. You'll set out on a tour of... Does it turn into a candy apple dragon? Because that'd be sick. Down in this land. This folktale tells of Pokemon who once saved Kitakami from an evil ogre. Okidogi, Monkey Dory, Okie and Dogi. These Pokemon are known as Friends and Dippity and their hail These and names heroes. in the land of Kitakami, inspired by the tale of the Loyal Three and the Ogre, the God. Festival of Masks is held each year, and the village bustles with people and souls. What mystery could lie behind this old folktale? Gotta love the find out the village friends. festival. Yes, we're, let's release the DLC that talks about summer when summer's already over. She's here in search of a certain Pokemon. Ooh, she's hot. Take Pokemon alongside Parent and help her with her mission. Who needs Pokemon Snap when you got this? Especially since the new Pokemon Snap's not that in great. In the Ogre Austin mini game, you can pop Ogre balloons and try for a high score. As a reward, you'll get mochi, which can this help your fair. Pokemon grow strong. Yeah, the names are silly. You can use mochi to increase base points for your Pokemon's stats. A fresh start. Oh hell yeah, get that mochi! Pokemon's base points, so you can train your favorite Pokemon just the way you like. And that's not all. You'll be getting the new Roto Stick too. Take photos with wider angles using the Roto Stick. Try out new poses and give your snapshots nice. more variety. Enjoy your school trip amid the beautiful land of Kitakami. Okay, it lo it looks a little better now. With that, Part but I two, still am like the Indigo Disc. I think the Indigo Disc is more Director Cyrano of Blueberry Academy, your academy's sister school, will invite you to visit as an exchange student. This is Blueberry Academy, where your story will unfold. Amazingly it's a giant enough, ship. This newly built school lies mostly underwater. Or it's a underwater school, whatever. In the terrarium located within the school, you'll find the subtropical savanna biome, the lush coastal biome. Oh, so it's Corinth. The rough and rugged canyon biome and the freezing polar biome. A total of four artificial. Except they have no areas. rangers to defend Each it. Each of these areas is home to many different Pokemon. You'll get to know the students in this academy, take on new classes, and experience a student life that's a bit different from what you're used to. The academy students often engage each other in battle, and they formed a group called the BB League. Yeah, I'm get some beer. At the top exactly. of this league stand the elite four. Exactly, Nightman. There's the level-headed student Lacey. I like her. She's The fiery, battle-loving cook Crispin. I like him. She's, the taciturn and cool-headed Amaris, and Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle skills. His partner Archaladon is a new Pokemon that evolves from Duraludon. These fierce trainers are all waiting to be challenged. To battle them, you'll first need to take on their elite trials. 
Apparently, one of these trials even lets your Coridon or Maridon fly around temporarily. Perhaps this latent power will be fully <coughs> unlocked someday. Damn. Oh no, it's Superman 64! <laughs> One of the extracurricular activities at Blueberry Academy is the League Club. It even has its own club room, which you can redecorate as you please. In yeah, this room, you can, you can find new room. ways to have fun, such as by changing up your Pokeball throwing style. At one point during your studies here, you'll okay, be able to invite trainers from Hell Data to be your special requirement. instructors. You can spend time with these trainers to get to and know them no better time to and battle exactly them too. Right exactly. Finally, your adventure will lead you back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? What could it be? The friends we made along the way? Probably. That was Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC, Whoa. the hidden treasure of Area Zero. We hope you look forward to adventuring beyond Paldea's borders. What did you think? It's we now boring. have a release date for part one, The Teal Mask. Please watch for future announcements for more news on part two, The Indigo Disc. We hope you look forward to adventuring in the land of Kitakami and the new encounters awaiting you there. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you for tuning in. Well. That certainly did happen. There's just like, there was like nothing in that thing. The you know what the most exciting thing was, Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy is coming to the Switch. That's the most exciting thing. Uh Detective Pikachu is pretty neat too. All right, this oh my god, I don't care about any of the Scarlet and Violet stuff. The animated stuff's kind of neat. Game wise, not really. It's just a good bunch of nothing. Uh, I know it's getting close to my bedtime, but I also this just made me bored. I just didn't care about any of this shit. So, um. Yeah, that's the Pokemon Presents. Holy shit.